press the bell icon and never miss an update from ET Auto. We have here with us Julie Forber, Executive Director Electrification at Cummins Inc. Welcome to ET Auto. Thank you. We are talking at the right time. You are in India at the right time yes. because India is one country that is pushing hard for electrification. How do you see India as a market for electrified vehicles, especially when it comes to commercial vehicles? Because the experts say that this is the area where we can first adopt electrification, especially in buses. Yeah, I think it's extremely exciting and Cummins is investing heavily. We've been public that we're investing $500 million in electrification as a business over the next three years. Um, we will certainly be making investments in India and Cummins for a long time has been a company that, that prides itself on having the right technology at the right time. And I think, you know, we will certainly be ready in India as India adopts electrification. Uh, when you talk about investing in India, it really uh, pleases me. Uh, could you give us more detail on the investment plan for India that you have? Sure. I mean, we have basically, we've invested about a billion dollars in India over the last five, eight, five years. And that's been in various areas. We've set up our mega site with various manufacturing operations. We have a brand new tech center that's opening in Pune uh, this month. Um, where we'll house about uh, 2,000 engineers. We have opened new offices in Pune. We've also invested in our partnership with Tata Motors. Uh, so really have been very, very uh, heavily invested in India for a long time and continue to do that in the future. So uh, these are the investments which has already been made. Right. Could you please put a light on the future investment or expansion plan that you have in India, apart from that 2,000 engineers that you are right. housing at Pune Technical Center that is going to support your global operations as well. What are the key work that you are going to do there? How, how are you going to use these Indian engineers for your global operations, if you could yeah, explain so that? We use uh, we have plans to use those engineers to support our business globally, which is fantastic. So, you know, great skills here in India that we use across all aspects of our engineering. So anything from design through testing through drafting, um, we'll also be investing heavily in a base of engineers to support our electrification business as we go forward. So in terms of uh, software engineers, electrical engineers, design engineers, all supporting the electrification business globally and for here in India. As, as electrification takes off here. You're also into hybridized engine for commercial vehicle. A lot of companies in India are looking forward to electric buses and trucks. Right. Is Cummins Inc. ready to support them? Even Tata Motors, Mahindra or Ashok Leyland, they are trying to bring in electric vehicles. How do you see that? Yeah, support. I think we will definitely be ready to support. We've already been, um, we've recently made two acquisitions in battery technology. We see battery technology as a key technology enabler for electric powertrain systems. And we've made uh, two recent acquisitions, which really add to our capability. We're also making investments in other areas of that powertrain. So motor generators, power electronics, other aspects of that. And the whole integration, we're leveraging all our experience in power electronics and controls, to bring together a fully integrated product which we believe we can bring to all markets we are we've been public we're launching a global bus product that will be um, in full production by the end of next year and that will be fully electric and then in 2020 we will have our range extended product available so have you signed any deal with the indian manufacturer to provide electrified uh, engines we're still in discussions with people. We haven't made anything public, but we're still in discussions with all the OEMs. When uh, do we expect a, a, mm -hmm. a, a bus or a truck yeah. with Cummins electrified engine coming Very on soon. <laughs> How soon? Two years? Three years? So we're expecting in the next couple of years we'll have some product out here. You have recently acquired a battery uh, system yes. company in the US, you just mentioned. Yes. Uh, do you see some kind of uh, collaboration with that uh, unit and bringing it here and start yes. manufacturing battery here in India? Right. Because we do not have, you know, a battery manufacturer as yet. However, Suzuki has planned one unit in Gujarat but as an engine manufacturer it becomes a, a natural progress for you 
to get into that space and capture the industry because you have a 60 year old legacy in the country. Right. So no, absolutely. We are, we certainly have, um, we're starting to put together plans to make investments here in manufacturing. And as and when electrification takes off here, we will definitely have local manufacturing and working with a local supply base as well. So the battery technology companies we've acquired, one in the US, one in the UK, bring both low voltage and high voltage technology. We'll be bringing that technology to India and setting up local base of pack manufacturing. Cummins will not manufacture cells here in India. We'll be looking for cell suppliers to make investment here, but we'll take those cells. We'll make package. We'll make the, the packs. We'll, we'll turn them into modules, add the battery management software, the thermal management, and the structures to make battery packs for. When do we expect that uh, to happen? And will it again remain limited to commercial vehicle and our 5AR, you think that for battery you may extend your presence towards uh, passenger vehicle or two-wheeler as well? So we haven't, we haven't got a time scale yet for when we make, make uh, manufacturing investment. Uh, right now our plans are that that would service commercial vehicles and not passenger car, but I you know, never say never. But I think right now our plans will be that we would make investment to service commercial vehicles. So what are the other areas like hybridization? When, uh, how, how do you look at enhancing your presence in hybrid uh, buses? And what's your plan? How much you are going to invest? And do you have any deal at hand? Or you're talking to people? Yeah. And in Indian market, how do you look at hybrid buses growing or electric buses and trucks growing in coming few years? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, as you said yourself, the government have been very vocal about their desire to bring electric vehicles here in all aspects. Um, we would certainly say right now today that electric, fully electric vehicles are really well suited to urban environments, given some of the limitations on the range of batteries, the charging time of batteries, and that hybrids really present a very more flexible option for, for vehicles that are traveling from one city to another. So whether it's you know, buses that are taking people from one city to another city, or trucks that are traveling in between cities, that a hybrid presents a very flexible solution in the absence of um, you know, newer technology batteries and also better charging infrastructure, that hybrids presents a short-term solution for some of those issues. The main uh, challenge that comes when it, we talk about electrification, especially in heavy vehicle, is range. Right. How Cummins is ready or geared up to solve that uh, problem? And yeah. what is the maximum range that you have in your electrified uh, vehicles. So, I mean, the honest answer is you can have whatever range you like, but there is a weight penalty. So I think, you know, the, the truck that we launched last August, the truck powertrain we showcased last August, basically had a, about, a, about 120 miles of range with it, but it was built really, that was weight neutral. So we took the engine and the fuel tank out and put in batteries that made it weight neutral. So no weight penalty on the load. And that would do about 125 miles. Now, I think you can easily add batteries to get you up to 300 miles, but obviously you then start to have a weight impact on what you can carry. So we would say today, about 125 miles is a reasonable range for a truck with no weight penalty. Beyond that, you start to impact weight. For fleet owners, operating costs become very important for suppliers like you. The biggest pressure that will be coming from commercial vehicle makers or your customers that how can we have a less operating cost? How are you fighting that when it yeah. comes to electrification, hybridization, or BS6 uh, uh, yeah. diesel powered engines? So I think the answer is, is a portfolio of solutions that meets all the needs. So I don't think the world of the future, certainly for the next few decades, will be a world where a multiple of solutions will be the answer. So depending upon what your needs are of productivity, efficiency, you know, cost consciousness or sustainability, you will, you'll find the answer. And it, it could still be a diesel engine or a natural gas engine. It could be a hybrid type powertrain or it could be a fully electric solution. I think depending on the needs, depending on the work you're trying to do or the mission you're trying to complete. If it's a short range inner city type duty cycle, then I think a fully electric solution could be the answer. And with maintenance costs and fuel costs could provide a very economic solution. But I think for something like a line haul truck, then I think a, 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 you know, a predominant 
electrically internal combustion engine powertrain will still be the most cost effective and efficient solution you can find. So I think it'll be a variety of solutions. You're still uh, uh, giving more point to IC engine for uh, operating cost, but there has been some impression that EV could be electric power buses or trucks could be uh, less on operating costs. Can you please elaborate on this? What would the per kilometer cost when it comes to electrified buses and trucks and ice engine powered diesel bus and trucks? So I think, again, it depends on what you're trying to do. So for a, for a bus that, that operates maybe 50 miles to de a day within a city environment, I think an electric powertrain does actually provide a very economically viable solution. I think for a truck that's trying to do four to 500 miles a day, you will definitely find today that a diesel powertrain is the most cost-effective solution, without doubt. Uh, how do you see India and Cummins global uh, uh, roadmap? How important is the Indian market and uh, where does it feature now and what is your long term and short term target to take India? Because it's one of the key markets. Very key you, market. Your revenue grew from 17 billion to 20 billion uh, this year uh, and you had a better profitability also and you said that India is one of the yes. key driver in this. Yeah. So how do you look at yeah, India we see, we forward. see India as a very very important market as you know right now in time and also as we go forward. We're invested here in all aspects of our business, from power generation, our components business, our on highway business, and our off highway business. And we'll continue to do that with the right technologies. So we're a heavy heavily investment in moving to BS6, and we feel like we're, we're well positioned to be very successful there. And in terms of all the new technologies around electrification, and you know longer term in the future we'll be investing in things like fuel cells and be bringing those to India as, as the time is right. So India we see as a very big part of our future going forward. So when, where in, do you see India? In your, uh, do you think India will be among your top three markets? Uh, when do you think it? Can I happen? think it will. I think it is in our, you know, in our top four or five markets today, and I think it will continue to be so in the future. Um, and I think you know the Indian economy looks certainly very strong as we go forward, and you know we'll see a very strong outcome certainly for this year and hopefully beyond that. One last and yes. final question: uh, you, Your major part of uh, uh, revenue still comes from ICE engine, over 90, 95 percent. Uh, do you feel the threat as entire world is talking about electrification? I think Cummins is exceedingly well placed to be successful in that market as it has been in, in the diesel engine market as we go forward. You know, we have prided ourselves on as times change and disruptions happen, Cummins has always been well placed and has been very successful. So as emissions regulations has happened, as the move from mechanical to electronic engines happened, we were very well placed and were very successful. We feel like a lot of the things we already have and can bring to the electrification market we will continue to do so and we're making the right investments in the right technologies as we go forward so we feel like we're very well placed thank you Julie for talking to ETR hey, thank you Master. very much thank, thank you, you.